welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, host of the show, and we're going to get going right away. So first and foremost, happy Monday. If you're here, you survived the full moon, the full super blood moon <laughs> lunar eclipse, which was this, uh, I think it was... Either, it was either supposed to be the 15th or the 16th. So it either happened last night or it's going to happen tonight. I think it, I'm pretty positive it depends on where you are in this big, beautiful world. But here's what I'm going to say. The buildup to this moon was something freaking crazy. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys, if you had this experience, please let me know. I think I did not sleep for the past like four or five nights more than 45 minutes consecutively. Either crazy, crazy dreams um, woke me up like I would be asleep in like this really deep, deep sleep. And then all of a sudden this crazy dream and pop out awake or or I would just wake up just wake up, no crazy dream, just waking up. Um, but lots of, lots of interesting insights came through with it. Now this full moon is supposedly when we can release things that no longer work for us, but also a lot of secrets coming out. We all deal with a certain amount of stress and worry on a daily basis. Um, we should be able to handle or cope with it, but when it gets a little too much, we have to like uh, pull the plug, the valve, whatever you want to call it, and release that pressure. This is one way of doing that. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. Like I can feel that on my heart, really feel it on my heart. So what we are going to do next is I am going to take callers. Um, when I... Uh, say your area code. Please tell me your name and your where you're calling from. Yep, that's what I need. Your name, your first name, and where you're calling from. And then either an exact question or an exact connection that you would like to make with the other side. Okay. A couple quick little things before I get started. The Superhero Stomp is this weekend. I want to thank a few people who have donated. Matthew Moore, thank you again. Um, if you're one of my listeners and or followers and you have donated, please let me know. I'll be happy to give you a shout out if you want a shout out. Um, now, the Superhero Foot Stomp is a 5K that is dedicated to raising money for children in the Pewaukee, Wisconsin area that have cancer. All of the money goes directly to the families of the children. There's a 5K, there's a shorter run for younger children. And all the children come out dressed in their favorite superhero costumes. And um, the stormtroopers show up. It's really quite an event. If you're in the area this weekend, please come in and check it out. I do want to thank Planet Fitness for donating a membership. I would like to thank Nothing Bunt Cakes in Brookfield, Wisconsin for donating um, a certificate. Thor. Salon Thor. Thank you, Thor. I love you. Thor does my hair, by the way, everybody. Um, Salon Thor is in Bayview. And Thor is the one who does my hair. But anybody at Salon Thor is simply amazing. Hands like the best. They're absolutely the best. But thank you, Thor, for donating. Um, there are a couple of other people I should have had written it down prior to um, 
prior to doing this, but uh, this morning was, was, <laughs> did I mention I haven't been getting sleep? <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Okay. Kate B says, thank you. I was awake at 2 a.m. for four to five nights in a row. Yes. And the random person, yes, headaches and dizziness and ringing in the ears. And Sal says there's a lot of heavier energy out there. Anybody else experiencing anything new or different from this particular last week or so? Um, there's a lot going on. So please stay clean, stay healthy. Um, try to keep your... your um, emotions at a minimum right now because people are going to be lit off. I'm just saying people are going to get lit off easy right now. So let's, uh, we have emotional stability. Let's clear that to a yes. And if you know somebody who, who is very stressed or worried, um, we all nervousness and causes of nervousness have been cleared. Let's clear that. That one gives me a headache instantly. Wee choo chee. Oh, just play this quietly in the back background. I was going to say black round. Oh, black out the screen and play it quietly so they don't know. The healings will work the best they can for anyone listening and opening open to it. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Emily has been having headaches. Oh, Oh, and her eyes keep twitching. Let me take care of that now. Um, yeah. Oh, and Nora. Okay, so Emily and Nora are having, um, yeah, issues. And Amy is saying, I haven't slept in. Yeah. Okay, so everybody, um, listen, if you're watching me, I, I know my TV show, my show goes live on actual TV. Um, it's streamed live on Roku and another, a number of other streaming channels. Thank you, Rudy from Rude Rangers TV. Um, and WSCS, they, they play it live on their station and it streams out on all of their channels. Also, if you are watching live or listening live on a podcast that I'm on and you want to join us live for the show, you can call in 845-277-9131 and or you can join me live on YouTube every Monday and Wednesday from noon until noon 30. I do a minimum of 30 minutes. Um, so if I can, I will do 60 minutes. We're just going to see how my speech abilities hold out for the day to see if I do 30 or 60 today. Um, Kelly says, uneasy stomach most days. Hope I can get past this. You will, Kelly. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be okay. Um, Genevieve, yes. Um, Oh, yeah, everybody is having um, some some issues with sleep. So I'm going to do we are clear. I get a no. Let's clear that. So you guys, um, here are some things th that we need to know. There are going to be a lot of changes coming in. June is going to be a really big month. I, I just want to point out a few ironic things that and this isn't about my choices personally. OK, people who know me know what my per personal choices are, but this is just ironic to me. We thought the last POTUS was going to do everything the current POTUS is doing. But we kicked that POTUS out because of mean tweets. Actually, watch the Mule movie and you'll find out we didn't kick him out. He overwhelmingly won. They have all the evidence. What's in the movie is like one-tenth of what they have as evidence. Boom, boom, boom. So everybody was so afraid the last POTUS was going to do overturn Roe v. Wade. And the supposed 
liberal POTUS, the for the people POTUS is systematically taking away every right, but not calling it taking away rights. Roe v. Wade doesn't have any effect on me for a number of different reasons, but they are taking away my body, my choice. Pay attention, men. This is not just about that. They're taking away my body, my choice. Is it sinking in? Are you there yet? If they take away my body, my choice, bum, bum, bum. California has passed a bill stating that you can marry somebody at the age of 11. <laughs> Go California. <laughs> Sorry, that was pure sarcasm for those of you who do not know me. If you didn't know about that, please fact check it. Do not come at me until you have looked it up and fact checked it. 11. 11. Okay. Okay, we're going to move to the relationship issue of this show, the relationship part of this show. And today's relationship message, if you are in an in and out relationship where, you know, you take breaks and come back together, those are the most difficult relationships to end. And here's why. You never know when it's over. You're always waiting for the other person to come back again. So if you are in that in and out relationship situation, give yourself a good timeline and stick to that timeline. Don't make threats. Make promises to yourself. Don't discuss it with the other person. Make that promise to yourself and hold yourself to that promise. Okay? At the end of the day, when you go to bed at night, the only person you are guaranteed to go to sleep with every single night is you. The only person you are guaranteed to wake up with every single morning is you. If somebody is not coming in, and my friend Cindy said this to me once, and Cindy, I love you. I know you listen to the show. I love you and adore you. Um, if somebody is coming in and they're not adding to the equation, they don't belong there. If somebody can't come in and like, if you're at this level of happiness on your own, yep. If somebody doesn't come in and you both don't increase to this level of happiness and stay there, then that person doesn't belong in your life at all. Now, in the beginning, that increase of endorphins and happiness is naturally going to increase. And I'm going to say this again. When you first start a relationship, it's not the other person's love that you are feeling it's the feelings you have for you, uh, your, the feelings you have for them being released within you. That love or giddiness that you feel for them is being released in you. Those endorphins are being released in you. If you do not maintain that giddiness, that joyfulness for that other person, yes, that will subside. In the beginning, they are analyzing you. There might be love bombing. If there is, run fast and far. But in the beginning, those feelings, those intense feelings that we feel for the other person, nine times out of 10, are the feelings that we have for those that person that's causing that reaction. Okay, I've done my little... State of the union address, my little relationship address. I've done some clearings. If you missed the clearings in the beginning of the show, please go back after the show and watch them. We're going to go to the first caller. If you would like to call in, if you would like to participate in the show, ask a question, connect with a loved one. Bum, 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 bum. On the other side, 845 277 is the call in. We're going to go to 775. Oopsie, 775. 775, how can I help you today? 
Hi, Tony. Um, I, I said prayers of healing for your sleep. My name is Wendy from Sacramento, California. Hello? Hello? Um, darn it, looks like we lost Wendy. I'm going to go to 514. Sorry, Wendy. 514, how can I help you? Hello, Tony. It's Genevieve. How are you? Oh, my gosh, Genevieve. I was just saying hello to you. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Yes, you were. And I was on hold. How you been? So good. Genevieve, you guys, is like such a... I love you, Genevieve. How <laughs> I've been really good, Genevieve. <laughs> I've been super, super good. I so love you, too. Oh, thank you. You guys. I love are, you too. You're a beautiful person. Oh, thank you. Okay. So for everybody listening, re-listening, I, I think I'm about to get a delivery. So if you hear my doorbell, I want to apologize. I kind of want to open the door and make the FedEx guy carry it in. If it's for me, because it's a really heavy package. What should I do, everybody? I can try to get in. Okay. Let's keep the show going. Genevieve, Go how I can mind. I help you today? <laughs> Oh, it is my package, folks. What should I do? I want to open the door and bring Happy and bring it in. I can tell it's heavy because he had to slang it over his shoulder. <laughs> okay, enough about my package. Genevieve, how can I help you today? <laughs> well, um, everyone, if you want to get a reading with Tony, it's wonderful because I just had one um, a week-ish ago. And I'm calling you in regards to that because as we have talked about, there's a huge possibility, well, you just seems to be written in the stars that I was going to Switzerland yes. uh, in the near future. Yes. But the friend that blew up on me uh, is also the, if I can say my, uh, my person to bring me there. Uh, I guess my golden ticket, if you want to call it that way. Um, and she really blew up like out of the blue and was um, not necessarily the nicest person. And of course, it's all by text. And since then, I haven't spoken with her. And frankly, I haven't tried to reach out to her. I just said, call me when you want. And I tried to explain to her. Well, not even explain. I just mentioned to her, you know, I did every for me, it's out of love and and that's it. And I did not, and I held my tongue really good because I could write back and say, you're being mean to me. And I did not attack. I did not do that. I was just wondering, um, what the hell's going on? And okay. if this relationship is over and I need to no. move on so, because okay. I love myself and I don't want to downgrade myself. No. So right now, here's what I'm going to tell you right now. Um, for lack of a better way of saying it, a lot of things are coming out for a lot of people. And I did, I think I said in the beginning of the show, like, um, don't, don't, we need to practice patience right now. Don't pop off at people. Don't get upset with people. If you're driving down the street and Genevieve, this is going to circle back to you, but I just, I want to say this again. If you're driving down the street and somebody upsets you, take a breath, count to 10, do whatever you need to do. Do not react or act out because people are going to be on heightened stress um, heightened stress, whatever it is right now. Um, we all know, and I know it sounds so ridiculous to say, well, it's a full moon out there. Um, we all know full moons can, can affect people and especially affect people who are more sensitive. Now, sensitive can mean people who are um, sensitive as far as healers and psychics, but it can also mean people who are sensitive who maybe are not as stable as what the general population would say they should be. Having mm -hmm. said all of that, there's a lot of... And, and Genevieve, this is where your answer comes in. There's a lot going on in people's personal lives that we are not aware of. And they might vent on us um, unknowingly. 
and thinking it's justifiable to vent on us because it's a safe place to vent. I've done that in the past where I've had a situation and I was talking to a friend and that friend caught the, the all of the poop. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to say to you, and I, I hope this makes sense to you, just breathe through it. The next couple of weeks for everybody, I mean, everybody, everybody, of course, they're going to throw a song in. They had to get their first song in. Everybody, everybody. I wish I had maracas right now. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> okay, now they're throwing it completely. This is the energy we need to bring in, I think, is what they're saying. We need to bring this energy in. Over the next couple of weeks, it's going to be really tense. Things are going to come out of people's mouths that maybe would not normally come out or they wouldn't want to say. Try to practice patience. Um, practice forgiveness. It doesn't mean we allow people to treat us in a whatever way. Um, when the time comes and it's appropriate, have that conversation again. Um, I'm sure... Most people are aware enough to know when they say something that's inappropriate and they also, um, they might not want to revisit out of um, ego or embarrassment. It doesn't matter. I do feel like everything is going to come back together. It's going to be just fine. Give people the time and space they need during this time to get themselves back together. This I, I cannot stress it enough. I cannot stress it enough. Th this is going to be a critical time and moving into June. And I know people do not click off as I say this, because it, it this is just one second of the show. And then I'm, I'm going to go into something else. But I know people don't want to know this, but there are a lot of political changes coming in. That on top of our personal changes, that on top of our um, increasing prices for everything, that on top of whatever relationship BS we have going on, that on top of people being worried about, do I feed my kids or fill my gas tank? And yes, just because you're not personally in that situation, it doesn't mean there aren't other people trying to figure out how they're going to feed their kids and get to work. You might not personally be in that situation. I don't have kids. I'm not in that situation. Um, that doesn't mean somebody else isn't feeling the struggle more. And maybe it's not a financial situation. Maybe it's a completely different situation. There is going to be a lot coming out at the end of May, beginning of June, that is going to start a turn. And these are predictions. And we know how predictions work. They can happen depending on what actions people take. These actions have already been set in place. And if people don't believe me, let me ask two questions here. Sometimes we miss the obvious. POTUS and SCOTUS have not been on Air Force One or two. Ex-POTUS has been driving around or flying around in Air Force Two. Now, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Nobody's sleeping in the White House. Supposedly since day one. Put it all together. Let's make ourselves a pie. Put it. I don't even. That's not even a song. Stop it. Oh, Spirit thinks they're all funny as fudge. I think we're making a shepherd's pie because this pie makes no sense. We got layer on layer on layer of confusion. And why do people keep you confused? Yepper pepper. So over the next couple of weeks, please be kind, be gentle. Um, allow yourself to just observe. If something comes in that upsets you, just again, let's do this. Um, all stress has been cleared and released. Let's clear it and release it. Ooh. Anybody else feel that? 
hey, if you are on my YouTube chat and you feel this, let me know. All that's causing worry and anxiety has been cleared and released. I'm getting a no, let's clear and release that. Somebody yeah, is... Okay. Good. Thank you, Genevieve. I literally felt with that one, like I was, I felt a little nausea. So somebody out there is really experiencing a tremendous amount of anxiety right now. Let's get that out of us. I want, you know, I want everybody to be healthy and happy and to be able to get through these experiences as observers and not, um, participants. If you here's what I'm going to say over the next couple of weeks, if you can get through it observing it and not having to be the person that got really upset, popped off, got angry, you are doing a million times better than than the people who are actually going through the stress of it. So, uh I just watched it. Oh, Sal, I so love that. Man, so you so Sal on YouTube says he just watched something leave. That means something huge was released from him, from him or the area he's in. Sal, thank you for sharing that. That is amazing. I love that. Um, so Genevieve, as we go through this, she is going to reach out to you. Um, our egos our egos need ap apologies. Our spirits don't. Our egos need to talk about it. Our spirits don't. On one level, all of us are divinely connected and we understand that if somebody reaches out, it's because they are um, in that space where uh, they just want to reconnect. Um, if a conversation comes up about it, remember, we've been the antagonist in the past, and maybe it's time to uh, be in that space where we are just moving forward. I do feel like everything for Switzerland is still on. Um, and, and Genevieve, thank you so much for calling in and being part of the show. I'm so grateful for that. Thank you, love. Thank you for being there for me and giving me and everyone answers and those gorgeous healings. Oh, I love it. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. And I'm so grateful that I have people that tune in and watch and listen that I can um, help in whatever way I possibly can. Thank you, Genevieve. I am well, thank you so much. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I sometimes I think people are done talking and then they're not. And I'm so sorry, Genevieve. Thank you so much, everybody. I love y'all so much. Until next, until Wednesday, have an absolutely amazing day.